all right um good day ladies and gentlemen you're welcome here today to this video tutorial this was brought to you by dewpoint graphics and sponsored by dewpoint graphic academy so today in this video tutorial we're going to be designing this um simple but amazing um happy new month flyer right so um without wasting much time let's begin from scratch but please if this is your first time coming across this channel please kindly do well to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we drop such amazing content and also don't forget to like the video for more people to get access to it right so without wasting much time let's begin from scratch right so um first of all what we did is that uh let's okay let's start by deleting this particular text so you just click on the delete button to delete it now um what happened is that the background that we we got the background was gotten from the shirt uh the, the shirt of um the celebrity that we used to design the flyer so what happened is that first of all you need to import that particular image right so uh, i'm going to import that particular image right now um if you want if you want access to this particular image just look into the description below there's a link that's going to lead you to our telegram channel you're going to see um various um designing resources we have been sharing every day right so now uh, first of all you need to increase uh, you need to import this particular image now after you import the image what we need to do is to get the color of the shirt right as the background so what you need to do is that you come to your background section your background layer here you see that then you locate color now when you locate color you are going to click on color here right click on color now when you click on color the next thing to do is to click on the plus sign you are seeing here right let's click on the plus sign now when you click on the plus sign we have a color picker here we have a color picker here so just click on the color picker then you locate that particular image here right you locate that particular image here. now that is the reason why we imported the image first because when you don't import the image you can't see it here to get the color you get it right so now you're going to use your hand to locate the um the color you want on the shirt right now if you want to be seeing the color that you are choosing check here right the top there you see that color that you are picking so when you get the exact color right when you get the exact color then you click on the tick mark here right so you click on the tick mark this is what you're going to get now this is uh you can now click on okay right you can click on okay but then i want us to make this uh color more deeper than the one i used right so you just hold the middle one here right and drag it in a bit just drag it inside a bit then you click on okay you get that now when you are done the next thing we are going to do is that this is the image right so we are going to place it here but then we have to increase the size a bit so you just hold here please whenever you are increasing your colors uh, whenever you are increasing the the size of your images use this section don't use the other angles right so you increase the size a bit then you place it down here now one thing i want to uh, mention is that when you are placing the image don't let it hang this way so that the bottom part shows this way make sure you bring it down so that that place will be covered right so that's how we are going to do it now after that the next thing we are going to be doing is to add a circle right is to add a circle so you come to the uh, character editor then you click on shapes after you click on shapes you click on this arrow here to lead you to the other shape so that you select a circle now the circle we are going to increase the size this way right increase the size this way now after you are done you click on the tick mark right now when you are done clicking on the tick mark what you need to do is uh, we don't need the image as sorry we don't need the circle to be in front we need it to go to the back now there are two ways of doing this thing you can either come scroll through this um editing features here and click uh, and select um uh to back here right when you click on to back it goes to the back 
now if let's say you don't want to use that one to write you can just click on the distance the layer panel right when you click on the layer panel you see uh the image here right you can either use those dotted lines there you see some dots here you can move it to the front and you can move it you can hold those dot lines and move it to the down again so that's the two ways of moving objects to the back or to the front right now that is it now the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to copy that particular circle right so you click on the circle then you click on copy so that we get it copied right so you click on copy now when you click on copy place it at the exact point where uh, the other one is right let it get the exact um position where the 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 second one is right just place it the same as the second one right when you are done click on this here click on edit right click on edit when you click on edit listen follow me carefully when you click click on edit you scroll down here the first thing you see is opacity right reduce the opacity to zero right you see that after you reduce it the image will be showing now scroll down you are going to see stroke now there is stroke here and the stroke width so increase the stroke width by maybe let's make it five it's not bad right you can make it five now after you are done scroll down here we don't want the stroke color to be um black right so you scroll down so you see stroke color here right you see stroke color so when you see stroke color uh, you are going to choose the same color you chose for that of the background you see that i hope you understand what i'm saying you're going to choose the same stroke color as that of the color of the background so we are going to be choosing that same color here right then when you are done you click on the tick mark here now why did we say you are supposed to do that why do we say you are supposed to do that when you do that you see that the image the please make sure you place it well so that you're not uh-huh right so let me lock let me lock them up so that I will not be distracted as i'm explaining this so just click on the layer panel and then you lock them up now the reason why i'm saying that you have to use the same color is that we want it to be like the 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 sh shape here is only showing a an effect or a color on the lady so that now let's assume that we use a different color right let's assume that we use a different color this means that the color is going to it can even though it can still blend well right but then it's an effect we want it to like we want the background effect to be on the lady you get that now for instance let's say i change the color here to we can still change the color though right we can still change the color so if you want you can also use your own style right different colors are there for you to use but then uh, in order to get a good um effect or to see how i did the um flyer this is how i did it right i used the same background color so that uh, all this portion all this portion the color will not be showing because it's the same background color so it will not be showing right so that only here will be showing you get it so that's why i said use the same background color right now let's continue the next thing is going to be working on text right so the first one we are going to do is to come to first of all let's come to shapes click on shapes uh, regulate the size of the shape to get um, a rectangle right then you come to color scroll down to color and give it the same color as that of the background right like click on the ok mark here right so when we are done we come to the text editor then you add a text we are going to add so you bring it on top of the shape right then you edit it then you write hello all in capital right hello right when you write the hello now we are going to give it a font so you scroll to fonts then you select um we are going to select we are going to select a font and the font we are going to be using here is um roboto regular roboto regular roboto regular right now when we are done we are going to write january 
but then with this January we have split it into two. Uh, we have the J A N in one uh, will be at the top, then the remaining U A R Y will be at the ending part. I hope you understand. So just click on the plus sign, then uh, edit the text, then you write J A N. Make sure that it's in capital, right? Now let's change the color. So you scroll to color. You're going to use the same color we used for the background, right? So you click on that one, then you place it here right you place it here now the font we are going to be giving it so let's scroll to fonts then we choose a font known as nevis this particular font right you're going to choose that same font nevis right let's use that font now you place it here now after that you can now just click on copy button here because this one and then the one we are going to add are going to be using the same font so just click on copy and then you you bring it down here right then you edit it and you write the u u a r y right so that is it here you see that the if the the text is on the ladies um, hand so maybe you might not be seeing it clearly so let's shift it back a bit like this right i hope you can see what i'm talking about or uh, let me reduce the size of this here right right i hope you've seen it so that is it here now after that you just write something a message uh for the month or anything like that so just click on the uh, we are going to be using the same font we use for the hello right so just click on the hello and then you copy it then you edit it then you write anything for the month uh may this month may this month bring bring to you victory and success right you can just write anything at all right then let's change the color to the same color of the background then we place it down here so you reduce the size right you reduce the size then you can now place it here you see that so may this month bring to you victory and success now um the next thing is i want us to add this uh, uh emoji these icons here so um we locate the icon click on okay now the first thing is we can place this down here like this so let's reduce the size of it place it down here you get that then we can copy it again and then we can place it at the top here right so that is it for that now um the next thing is we are going to be adding a shape so you come to the shapes you click on this now regulate this size to get uh, a rectangle like this regulate the size to get a rectangle now after you get the rectangle check down here there's radius so you increase the radius to maybe 50 Re increase the radius to 50 right i hope you are following then you click on um first of all before okay you click on okay after you click on okay or the tick mark right then you scroll you see opacity you reduce the opacity to 65 it's okay right 65 is okay then you copy you copy the shape right just click on the shape and i click on copy you bring it here then reduce the size more and then you place it here right reduce the size and place it after that you go back to opacity and increase it to 100 right so that is what we need to do at this section so after that you can just lock your elements up so that they don't get you distracted right while you are designing so that is it now when you are done this way the next thing you are going to be doing is to add uh designed by the person that designed it or anything like that so just come and click this click on the plus sign uh edit the text then you can write designed by 
right so let's change this color to maybe the same color as the as the background so you reduce the um, size that you place it down here then you can now give it a font uh, let's give it Nevis font right the one we use for the January so this is the font here so you click on Nevis font then you place it there then you now add your name plus your contacts right you can just add your name plus your contacts at this section so you edit it then write dew point graphics so I'm going to add my number in case you want to reach out to me 059 sorry 053689 3079 uh, it's on whatsapp too right so that's it so you reduce the size then you place it here right you place it down here you can see that the color is not visible because it's white right so let's change it to this color like this so that is it for this particular design as simple and easy as that right so um when you are done as usual you click on this particular button the save as button and then you save it as an image and you can also save it as a project right yeah so that is it for this particular design please um don't forget to subscribe to our channel and then also like the video for more people to get access to it right thank you very much for watching see you in the next video